Hey Dragonfly Swarm, so Rockfather Pebble God Mountain Maker Shield Dude 4000 Zhang Li, aka the Geo Archon, is getting his third and presumably most anticipated banner rate up yet in the second half of 2.4, which is exciting for a lot of players considering he's been regarded as one of the strongest supports in the game for a long time now. That was uh, until the dogs came to the game though. Ah, oh, those dogs, they ruin everything. Literally. Since Inazuma's release, it seems like MiHoYo is finding more and more ways every patch to make shielding less of a must-have form of utility that everyone relies on, and more of a situational form of survivability. Or at least that's what a large portion of the Genshin community is saying. So that quite obviously drags the god of shielding himself into the question, especially since his rerun is like a week away. Actually, I don't even really know what day it is today. I could be totally lying. It's soon though. Zhongli is considered the best shielder in the game for a lot of reasons, all of which I'm gonna briefly list. Number one, his shield scales with a massive chunk of his max HP, as well as a massive chunk of flat out absorption. For example, at talent level 8, his skill provides a shield that absorbs 20% of his max HP on top of a flat out 2311 additional points of damage. And this scaling alone makes Zhongli's shields extremely strong, much stronger than any other shielder in the game based on shielding alone, but also his first ascension passive straight up just increases the shield strength by 5% every time it takes a hit of damage, up to 5 stacks maximum. Number 2, or like 2.5 now, or something. Zhongli's shields are gonna shred the physical and elemental resistance of enemies near your active character by 20%. No other shield in the game does anything like this, and 20% is like a lot of shred. And for comparison, Shinha's burst only shreds around 10% cryo and physical resistance at mid-investment, and she's a character that was designed to help your team's damage. So with that brief analysis of Zhongli's shield and why it's so strong compared to every other shielder, I'ma ask the question for myself to answer. <laughs> in a time where shielding is becoming less and less viable, is Zhongli worth your prima gems in 2.4? Now let me answer that question. Shielding is seen as less desirable right now because of mechanics such as corrosion, which is a new type of damage in the game that completely ignores shields, it just slowly saps at your character's HP. And it's not necessarily just corrosion that does it now either. New mobs in Inkonomiya now sap your energy, and if you have no energy, they sap your health, which also ignores shields. Plus there's sheer heat and sheer cold, and then there's weird electro aura in Inazuma's islands that chips at your health, and it's a lot. Hui. <laughs> All of these mechanics are making shielding less of a universal crutch than it once was, which makes an alarming amount of people think that shielding is completely pointless now, but it's not. Cause you see, when you're fighting against mobs that apply corrosion or sap your health when you have no energy, if you don't use a shield, a few things are gonna happen. Number one, and most obviously, they're gonna slap you in the face, and you're gonna take that damage on top of the corrosion or sap damage. But number two, your character without a shield is very vulnerable to being interrupted during their attack combos, which is gonna significantly slow down your rotations overall and make your damage output way less than you want it to be. This is a problem for virtually every main DPS character, but it's especially a problem for people who like to play characters such as Yoimiya, Ito, Raiden Shogun, Ganyu, Hu Tao, or Shao. These characters are all similar in that they activate the majority of their damage output with a skill or a burst that will only stay up for a few seconds. And in those few seconds, you need to be dealing as much damage as possible without being interrupted. Ganyu's an exception, she's only here because being interrupted while charge shooting is annoying as shit. And interruption is one problem that shielding will pretty much always be able to solve. Even if your shield isn't absorbing all the damage the enemy is dealing, assuming they can apply corrosion or sap your health, at the very at least, a good strong shield will prevent your main DPS from taking any upfront damage as well as providing them immunity to interruption, so they can continue dishing out massive damage until the enemy is 6 feet under the abyss dirt. And it's in that way that I kinda wanna point out the bigger picture here. Corrosion and health sap probably weren't even aimed at making shielding less viable in the first place, but rather at making healing more viable. Because before corrosion, shields were so uncounterable that you didn't even need healers, like at all, as long as you had a shielder. Nowadays, it's a much more thoughtful balance in which you definitely need either healers Healder or a shielder. Healder? <laughs> Nowadays, it's a much more thoughtful balance in which you definitely need either a healer or a shielder, or both if you want. But this video is about Zhongli, so back to convincing you to pull for him for my Geo takeover agenda. Zhongli is by far the strongest shielder in the entire game, with 100% shield uptime, massive shield absorption scaling, 20% shred on all resistances in the game, and it erects a climbable pillar. <laughs> You'd be stupid not to pull for him. That was a joke, that was a joke. So realistically, the answer to my earlier question is yeah. I personally think Zhongli is just as viable as he's always been in 2.4, because he holds up well in this new era of Genshin Impact despite the inadvertent nerfs to shielding. He's easy to build and doesn't require much investment at all, honestly, to perform amazingly. I mean, I've been using a 3-star polearm on him since day one, and I don't think he's ever died. He's a character that I would say, if you're looking for a strong support and slash or shielder, I highly recommend pulling for and investing in him. If you're not looking for these things, 
things though, that's cool too, you don't have to pull for him, and it's true that there are many other options out there, especially with the recent necessity for healers. But if you main a character that I mentioned earlier who is especially susceptible to interruption and needs survivability, Zhongli is pretty much the best unit in the game to solve those problems as of 2.4. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say regarding Shield God, Pebble Bender, Old Man Rock Dude in 2.4, so if you enjoyed this video or it helped you in any way, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing if you want because it helps the channel out, and also you should totally join my Discord server or follow me on Twitch because I would love to see you around. Alright, I'm gonna go continue praying that Yai Miko will come home safely because I am a devoted Yai Miko follower. All Yai Miko followers, please rise with me.